Hey YouTube, it's Christy Nitro from the fabulous Las Vegas area. And I did a little shopping over Labor Day weekend. It's so funny when you work in retail, we'll sell all your holiday needs and yet we're can't, we can't as employees enjoy any of the holidays. <sighs> okay, but moving on, I was able to go out. He needed some stuff for school. And I know you're seeing a Blix advertisement right in front of you. Yes, he has to take a art class. And either it came down to art or dancing. That boy cannot dance to save his life. So he opted for Drawing 101. Thankfully, I have some of the supplies that he needed for the class. But the ones that we didn't have, we went to Blix. Because it is a big art supply store in town. He found all the things he needed, and I picked up some goodies. Yay! All right. I'm going to start off the wedge. When you can find these bad boys for cheaper, because they are pricey, these things are usually used for ceramics. So you can smooth out your edges, add texture. Also good with art, journal art journaling, decoupage, and whatnot. So that was a good find on sale. I also went ahead and picked up one of my favorite glues. I like this. I say this glue right here is Elmer's glue on crack. Not even kidding. It's great for my woodwork. It's great for paper crafting, decoupaging, you name it. This glue can do it. So when you can find it, I try to pick it up. I also went ahead and got some of their masking tape. This is eighth of an inch, as you can see there, which means it is super itty bitty. Again, though, it's great for masking off detailed things, little corners of things. It's great. The final thing that I got, it is so adorable, and it was completely an impulse buy. So you know I have the dog... Um, tape dispenser so now I have a pug measuring tape to go right along with him the tongue that you saw on the front here is actually the part that pulls out so adorable and then this little guy right here means it's retractable it was a bit pricey at $7.99 but as a pug mother definitely worth it because I have seen nothing like this and I'm glad to welcome it to my craft room adorable it's so hard to find black pug anything though. All right, so since I was on that side of town, meant I went to Chinatown. I love going there because the food is amazing and they have the greatest bookstore in town. Uh, being a journal junkie, I can't pass up on it and he was like, that's fine, let's go. The number one thing I go for is always the pencils and the supplies for the pencils. So this is a fierce drawing pencil. Let me show you why. You see that? Look at how thick that is. It is 2B, which means it's soft and it is dark. Just the way I love it. So I'm hoping I can find some refills coming up here soon. And then I picked up this pen simply for the design. It is a 0.5 and it's black. But as you can see there, it is cacti. And then it has a little shamrock. Oh, it's so adorable. So I'm happy to include him into my collection. Of course, you can't go to one of these bookstores without picking up some kind of washi because they are cheap. Um, $1.25 for this. And you can see it is some fierce. Maybe you can't. Can you see? There you go. Right? That's cool. <sighs> yeah. I can't. Yep, you know I had to do it. These little clips here were a dollar ninety-five, and so worth it in my book. Adorable. Enough said. The last impulse buy was this sticky note, and it is in the shape of a T-shirt. Reason why I got it, I thought it'd be really fun to mark down things to shop for, especially clothing find and whatnot, even in a journal. So that bad boy was only a dollar. Getting into the journals I found as a journal junkie in a bookstore. I started off with this one. I am definitely going to repurpose it because the color is, or the cover, not color. Um, the cover isn't really my style, but their binding is always on point. And you can see in here, there's several different types of paper. And I really want to play with this size. So that was a must have. And that was like right around two dollars yeah not good at pricing also the next one i'm going to show you i still kept the wrapping and it was two dollars and fifty cents look it's wood 
Isn't that so cool? Um, apparently this is a limited edition, limited edition. Oh my gosh. It starts off with like a calendar type feel and a checklist moves into just your plain white pages and then your plain crafts. The paper is really thin, but if you're a doodler or you just want to write things out, this is a perfect way to do it. Then you can see the next section, which you have a blank page here with some checkpoints and then your grid. The last section is all about the lines and it ends off that way. So I thought that was a great score with an actual wood cover for $2.50. My next find was around the same price as this. It was only like $2 and you can see it has a little string. It's wood, yeah, wood print, I know. I was on a mission. You can see it has a little pocket here with the wood print journal so you can keep it in this or you can put it in your own traveler's notebook and on the inside it is grid and then that on the back. Super amazing. <laughs> I can't stress that enough for the price. It's just so different and honestly nothing I can find in the stores around here. This one was a little bit more pricey at, oh, come on, $2.95, but it's black and I thought it'd be a great addition for my traveler's notebook and it is super panda. Really cute, right? Again, I think it was more expensive because it was black paper. The final thing I picked up at the bookstore in Chinatown was this. And it was pricey at $9.95, but to me, it was definitely worth it. I love the prints of the faces. My mom would be proud that it says hippie on the front. But if I can take it off, you bet it, I will. When you open it to the inside, you get one booklet that says time. And on the inside, it has the date place today to do to go notes. Really cute for on the go. And then you have your diary section, which is just a notebook of lined paper that has date on the top. Room to grow, so that means I can make them my own and look, they're stitched. So I know $9.95 for this might be a little bit pricey, but to me, I can't find this anywhere else in town. And I think it's completely adorable and I can't wait to make it my own. So that was my little adventure on one side of town this weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed my finds. If you're ever in Vegas, go to Chinatown and hit up that bookstore. It's called just that, the bookstore in the mall part. Thank you for watching and as always, keep crafting.